Hi, everyone. We are going to talk about fables today. A uh, fable is a specific kind of literature. You're going to recognize some of the fables we talk about. We're going to talk about a few different things when it comes to fables so that you can remember what's unique about fables and what makes them stand out from other types of literature. Now, a fable is a short story, but it's a specific kind of story with certain characteristics that we're going to look into. A fable teaches a moral or a lesson. It teaches you how to do things like be a friend, help others, be kind, be a good listener, appreciate people, that sort of thing. At first, fables were passed down from generation to generation through storytelling. So, fables have been around for a really long time, and maybe someone had heard the fable from their grandmother, and then they would uh, sit around telling stories to their grandchildren, and that's how their grandchildren learned the fables, and then they would pass them down, and it just kept getting passed down from generation to generation for hundreds of years. One of the unique characteristics about fables is that most fables have talking animals. Personification is very common in fables. You will see a lot of personification in fables. Not all of the fables have talking animals but it is very, very common. One of the first people to write fables down for reading was a man named Aesop. You just pronounce that like A and Sop. Aesop was a Greek slave. This is a painting um, by an artist in the 1600s. This is what he believed Aesop looked like. And this is actually how you spell the name Aesop in Greek. Fables have been told since at least 1500 BC. Aesop wrote his fables around the year 550. So they really have been around for a very, very long time. But Aesop was one of the first people to write fables down for people to read and pass around. And that was many, many hundreds of years ago. Some famous Aesop's fables you've probably heard of are The Fox and the Grapes, The Tortoise and the Hare, and The Fox and the Crow. There are Plenty more that I'm sure you've heard of, but those are some very common Aesop's fables. There you go. That's your quick little lesson about what a fable is. And I hope to see you in the next lesson when we actually read an Aesop's fable and talk about it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.